Kanye West's new album, Ye, just dropped, and he discusses being diagnosed with bipolar. But is this an excuse for his behavior? Let's discuss. What is up, everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And yes, in this video right here, we're gonna be talking about Kanye West, his bipolar disorder, his actions recently, and is this an excuse for his behavior? But do me a favor and share this video because whether or not you're a Kanye West fan, I'm gonna talk about the stigma of mental illness and a lot of topics that a lot of people need to hear. So please, please, please do me a favor and share this video, all right? So real quick fun fact about me, I, was a huge Kanye West fan. And when I say was, it's not because of his recent behaviors, it's just I'm not a fan of like his last few albums, that's about it. But I really connected to Kanye West and his lyrics way back in the day, like his first few albums, I loved it. Like something that he talked about quite a bit was overcoming obstacles and being driven with motivation. When people told him that he couldn't do something, he did it, right? And a lot of people saw that as uh, forming his cockiness, but for me, like, that is something that I try to use as my motivation. For example, this YouTube channel right here, a lot of people thought it wasn't gonna go anywhere, and now it's gradually growing, and I love that. Like, that is my fuel, you know what I'm saying? People thought I wasn't gonna stay sober. That is my fuel. The other thing I, I really love, I loved uh, the way he produces albums. Like, he used to have a little bit more of a soul style. He kind of touches it on this new album. But like I said, me not being a huge Kanye West fan anymore, it's more about his music than his actions, all right? Because I've watched Kanye closely, and something that impacted him greatly was the loss of his mother. So again, in this video, we're gonna be discussing bipolar disorder and his actions recently and things like that, and is it an excuse? Like, the difference between myself and some others is a lot of people are looking at this guy and saying, what a jerk, I can't believe he did this. But me, I see a guy who's going through grief and he's also struggling with his mental illness. So on the cover of his new album, Yay, it says, I hate being bipolar, it's awesome. But what does this mean? Well, let's take a look at his outro on his track, Yikes. That's why I with Ye. That's my third person. That's my bipolar What? That's my superpower. Ain't no disability. I'm a superhero. I'm a superhero. Well, let's talk about that real quick. Can having bipolar disorder make you like a superhero? Are there benefits to being bipolar? So according to some of the leading researchers on bipolar disorder, there actually are some benefits to being bipolar. So if you are somebody with bipolar, there are some benefits to it. If you know somebody with bipolar, share this video with them because let's talk about some of the benefits to being bipolar. So this is from an article that I actually pulled from Psychology Today. And this gentleman actually went to a conference and he says, first up was Sherry Johnson, PhD, who teaches at UC Berkeley and does basic research on mania. Her talk was about how people with bipolar disorder are more reactive to rewards and goals in their lives. They tend to work harder towards such goals and refuse to give up long after quote unquote normal people do. Dr. Johnson is currently conducting studies to understand the greater reactivity to success in this population. So think about that real quick. I was just talking about how something I loved about Kanye is his motivation to pursue his goals and accomplish these things. This is actually a trait of people with bipolar disorder. So next, let's talk about creativity. Terrence Ketter, MD, who teaches at Stanford School of Medicine and runs the Stanford Bipolar Disorders Clinic, covered the relationship between creativity and bipolar with details from many studies. Inspired by his clinical work with exceptionally creative individuals, Dr. Ketter has developed a strong interest in the relationship of creativity and mood disorders. He shared the latest research trying to figure out why the link between bipolar and creativity is so strong. So think about that. Why is Kanye who he is, where he is in life? He has done things with rap and hip hop, and these are things that not many other people can do. Like, I remember watching a video where they broke down like the things he does just like with his music from album to album, and it's like pure genius. So people with bipolar 
are also a little bit more creative than the average person. So these are very cool things. All right, so now, now we gotta talk about the other stuff. So recently, Kanye West was at TMZ and the, the, the big news line was he said slavery was a choice, all right? So after this, you know, there was a bunch of outrage and backlash and things like that. Kim Kardashian hopped on Twitter saying, you know, you guys shouldn't, you know, just talk about mental illness like that. Just all sorts of stuff going on. And the question is, is his bipolar disorder an excuse for this comment as well as some of his other erratic behaviors? The answer is no. It is not an excuse, it's a reason. So here's the rant portion of this video. I completely disagree with this idea that you should never apologize for your mental illness. It is one of the million reasons why I started this channel. I kept seeing article after article after article, like, no, I won't apologize for my anxiety. No, I won't apologize for my bipolar. No, I won't apologize for my PTSD. Like, what? What? Like, okay, let's imagine instead of a mental illness, a physical illness. Let's say a guy was in a wheelchair, right? He's a paraplegic, he's in a wheelchair, and he just constantly rolls over people's feet on purpose. Like, would we look at that guy and say, oh, it's okay, you don't have to apologize, you're in a wheelchair, so it's okay to be a jerk. No, I'd be like, you're a jerk, quit running over people's feet. It's the same thing with mental illness. We can't just run around doing whatever we want and not apologize for it. So like for me, for example, I've mentioned before, my anxiety makes me kind of moody and aggravated and irritated. And what I try to do is be very mindful of when my anxiety is coming so I can let the people know around me like in advance, like, hey, if I snap at you, I'm really sorry, but I, I'm in this mode right now. You know what I mean? Like I'm not apologizing for the disorder. I'm apologizing for the actions that might've hurt somebody like I just mentioned in my last video about how this channel is changing like I want to like promote like kindness and being nice to each other and stuff like that like not apologizing for things you did in a manic episode is ridiculous ridiculous and it's not cool. Like once you come come back down, like you gotta sit back and reflect and say, yo, like I'm sorry if what I did during that episode hurt you. Like one of the main reasons is, is that we talk a lot about the stigma of mental illness on this channel and sometimes we're the ones perpetuating the stigma. People then use that as a reason to stigmatize mental illness. They think that we're all running around just acting nuts and not having to apologize for any of our actions. And that's not cool because it's hurting the overall cause of what we're trying to accomplish together. So yeah, Kanye, you should apologize when you freak out and do these things. And not apologizing, that has nothing to do with mental illness. That has something to do with pride and ego. Those two things, that's it. So Kanye, you're my boy, but you need to apologize, all right? But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, me trying to explain the new album by Kanye West, yay. Uh, by the way, please do me a favor. If you wanna learn more about bipolar disorder, living with bipolar disorder, uh, I will link in the description two of my buddies, K aka Bipolar Pug, her channel, and then also Kim Charlson. Both of them, I've done collabs with them. They talk a lot about their struggles with bipolar and things that help them. So please go check out their channels, all right? Anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, I'm always making videos about mental health. Make sure you click that little round subscribe button. And if you wanna check out some other content on this channel, you can click or tap on one of those thumbnails, all right? So thanks again so, so, so much for watching. Don't forget to apologize for acting crazy and I'll see you next time.